Okay, so where are we sitting on this now? We are sitting on the fuse here needing to be replaced because I blew it when I attempted to run the one o-ring in the compressor on the top of it instead of around it. My fault there, I thought it would have enough room to kind of do its thing, but obviously it didn't. So I've located the fuse and it'll be on number four here. So I'm going to go ahead and unsolder that. And then I'll replace this with something a little bit better than this cheap little fuse holder here. And uh, then I will get it back together. So I'm going to go ahead and get my soldering iron rock in here and we'll get to it. So what turned out to be a mechanical issue is turning into an electronic issue, but the great thing about this is there is the, the pump system that was on this. I actually really enjoyed it, and I really want to play with those pumps a little bit more now, because it would be interesting to uh, try it out in a few different projects, um, that air pump. Uh, so possibly for a future project I'll have something with uh, I'm going to see if I can locate online uh, a pump like that to uh, play around with a little bit because it would be kind of interesting to make my own little rig I thought it was kind of odd that they used an AC adapter in here for the charging it's actually on the inside so if you really wanted to you could probably just undo that reroute it to the other side and put a different plug on the outside here um, so that way you can plug directly into it instead of using the extension cord method which is really really lame but I know the reasoning for this method would probably be because this way you don't lose your adapter it's inside right got my handy dandy bulb solders up on the wall One, two, three, four. So one, two, three in. One, two, three in. It would be four. Yeah. So we got that right. I think I got it to where I can actually pull it out now. Oh, and it looks like I pulled out the wrong one. Well, there you go. Don't trust the board. It's going to be the next one here. So, I will back in there so that one was for the light that's on it so it's going to be one more up so I'll just go ahead and re-solder that back on here and then I'll go over to the side here and uh, 
take a look at it. I'm just gonna turn on my multimeter. I have it set to continuity. And there you have it. Nothing. So that is how I know that the fuse is blown. And that's what you would have heard if it was working. We'll replace this and get that soldered back in and go from there. So what I have here is two fuse holders here. You can use, use either one if you wanted to modify to have the fuse on the outside of it. You could definitely drill a hole in either the front panel and reroute it or you could use something like this, an inline fuse holder. Now I know these are a little bit bulkier but there is room inside to house it properly. And I think this is the route I'm going to go is with the inline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a look. There it is. And this is where my bulb fuse will go into. And then turn. Done. We're golden. So I need to know what size fuse to put in there. Let's crack open the old one and see what's inside it. I'm not sure if you can see or not here, but you can definitely tell it's blown. Looks like it's a 15 amp fuse. So this is completely useless. Right now, this is garbage. It'll go into the recycling bin. With all these fuses I have here, I don't have any 15 amp fuses, I don't think. I have to go through this bin and this bin, see if I have something, but I might have to just put a 10 amp in there for now just to see if it works and this is where having it in that fuse holder is going to come into play that way if I have to swap out I can definitely do that. When I was doing pinball machine repair I made sure I had a ton of fuses but now I'm going to go ahead and see what fuses I do have and hopefully find a 15 amp. If not we're going to go ahead and use the 10 amp. So now we got to get the fuse I couldn't find a 15 amp fuse, so we're going to go with the 10 amp fuse. So we'll try the 10 amp. The only thing is, I don't think I can use the booster part. I'll have to go down to the hardware store or something, order some on eBay, and get that dealt with. I'm going to go ahead and get my soldering iron turned back on. And now I'm going to check to see if I have a proper connection. Uh, if not, I'll have to reuse the one that's on there somehow. Alright, let's see if we can match that guy up. I just got this kit here off of uh, eBay. So I paid probably next to nothing for it. Okay, so that looks like a good match there. So we'll use that guy there. Put that guy to the side. Then I'm going to go ahead and tin the tips on my cables here. So what I'm going to do is this end here, the longer one, I'm going to put on the board there because I want as much distance away from that board as I can to be able to access the, the fuse holder. So when I go to swap out now for a 15 amp fuse, I'll be able to uh, access that with no issues. So if you don't have one, Make sure you always have a helping hand around. Makes life a little bit easier. I 3D printed the base on it. Uh, someone's design there. Maybe I'll see if I can grab the link to it. But it's actually really nice because now I can... Let me show you here. I can kind of like put it wherever I want and it'll stay. So Makes it a little bit more easier. I do have to replace it though because 
I think my arms are coming off here, so 